It's embarrassment. Can you imagine? I only will not come out of the water. If I was her, I would not come out of the Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Princess Bravo and today we're gonna be reacting to some funny TikTok videos but I promise you we're gonna be learning something. Obviously we're going to learn. <laughs> so I'm gonna be putting the TikTok videos on this side so that you can see. I'm starting with this one. This is a guy getting a haircut. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's been walking up now. You can look at yourself. What? <laughs> that is so crazy guys in fact look at that like look at that haircut on the side it looks weird why is it going down <laughs> and, and he's even looking at that um that chart they usually have at the salons and he's telling the guy what is what is this it's looking like this picture i asked you to give me this haircut for it's so funny that this guy, in fact, was sleeping when he was getting this haircut. I got to a salon and, they, and I asked them to give me a haircut. I don't think I would sleep, especially if I found give me this haircut. I mean, you have to keep checking, is this guy doing the right thing? <laughs> and another thing, when you go to a salon, please make sure that the picture that you're choosing, that face shape or head shape matches yours. Because I think this guy picked uh, a nice haircut, but the head, his head, didn't match the head of that picture. This guy, is, he wants to get a proper haircut. I think he should go for a hair transplant, by the way, because his hairline now starts from here, going to the back. I mean, whose hair starts from here? What did the guy do, honestly? Anyway. Oh my goodness. So this guy... He put the wax in his nose with Q-tips. So now when he pulls it off, the ends of the Q-tips remain stuck. Oh my God. <laughs> I think and instead of him going to that length of getting wax and putting it in his nose to get rid of the hairs, I think he could have gotten a nose trimmer, you know? so that he can trim his nose hairs without going through this pain. I don't know. Now he has to go to the doctor. He has to see a doctor because how can he breathe without his nostrils? <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> anyway, so this one says when your wig can't swim. So this lady is going to have a swim. Yeah. Oh my lord. Oh my hair. <laughs> Oh my god, that is so funny. Can you imagine? Ah, you're looking so good oh, with your hair, with your... In fact, at that time, you don't want anyone to know it's a wig, you know? So, at the pool, and then, hey, you want to show your skills, your, your swimming skills. You're diving in there, and then the hair decides. <laughs> what? Okay. What I can say, when you're going to swim, guys, Make sure you secure your wig properly with the bobby pin. You know, if you want to, okay, of course, I know people use uh, glue. Yeah, I mean, for those of you who want to slay, you know, I understand. I understand. You want to slay so, and you want to wear your wig. But for me, if I'm going to swim, I don't think I'll wear a wig. I'll just put on my swimming cap and then I'll swim and then I'll save my wig from getting into water and I'll save myself the, the drama, yeah, <laughs> that embarrassment. Can you imagine? I will not come out of the water. If I was her, I would not come out of the water. This lady decided to do some flexi rods in her afro hair, for C, for B type of hair. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Honestly, I've never done flexi rods in my hair so I don't understand why hers did like that anyway but I can see she put a lot of product in her hair why is it looking white it's like she did a lot of um, gel or wax that looks like gel or wax yeah so at this point she was like I'm not going anywhere I just take my lashes off and go because where can you go with that hair looking like that <laughs> That looks like you've been electrocuted or something. <laughs> and okay, I have a question. 
if you have planned to go out and you decide to do your hair, it's like you should have done it prior so that in case there are any mistakes, you know, and then you fix them so that on that D-Day, you know how to do your hair properly and then you can go out. So this lady, she has done her makeup, she has her lashes on and everything. She's now doing her hair so that she can go out. But now, the hair is disaster. <laughs> can you imagine if you're going for an interview? <laughs> Disaster. The hair is a disaster. <laughs> it's a mess. You cannot go anywhere looking like that. You just take your makeup off and then you just go. But anyways, I think even the way she curled that hair, honestly, it wasn't gonna turn out good. The way she did the flexi rods, I've never seen anybody do her hair like that. But anyway, huh. I think she has learned her lesson. Yeah. Yeah, let's do. Okay, this lady, it's like her, is it her mother or grandma? She's, she's giving her a nice haircut. She's chopping her hair, hair off. She's like, your hair is too long. You need to chop it off. We are eating hair every day in the food. <laughs> but what? Who cuts hair like that, guys? What? Oh my God. And because it's your mother or because it's your grandmother or whoever, you have to, to be like <laughs> and smile it off and pretend like nothing is going wrong. But you're like, I'm not understanding. <laughs> it looks so funny. In fact, I didn't realize it was going to be this bad after she like released the hair and wow, it's looking so bad. Now she has to either look for a wig or just go bald or cut it shorter because it doesn't look nice. So when you want to cut your hair, honestly, if you have long hair, I think you like cut your hair in inches, like sh yeah, short inches. Like say you want to shorten this hair, you pick your hair and then you start cutting it small, small chops like this. Not you don't, you don't start from here, guys, honestly. How do you know that this is the length that you want to go for? You have to start from down here so that you'll be like, oh, this is the length I want to go for then you end it up there. But anyway, chopping it like this, that was very brutal to the hair. Brutal, yeah. You don't do that to somebody's hair. Even those people, if I come to you and I ask you to chop my hair and you do, do me like that, hey, you are my hater. <laughs> you are a hater. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we, we, we see this guy, he's going to the pool and he's honestly he's very obese and then transformation you see him maybe i don't know how many years later how many months later the guy is looking so much better guys a very big difference it doesn't matter even if he has hanging skin guys but this guy should motivate you enough to start going to work out even if you don't go to the gym start uh, doing home exercises so that you don't get to this point where you're obese because when you start dealing with obesity now there's things like hanging skin and for those who have hanging skin you have to go and get surgery so that you have the excess skin removed so if you want to avoid such things happening to you please just start doing something small about it yeah that's what i think so that was a bit motivational for you guys because I want to motivate you guys to start working out. And also apart from working out, of course, you need to check on your diet. Make sure that you're eating uh, clean, you're eating right. Don't be eating like so much junk, you know, if you want to be healthy and avoid so many issues, diseases and such stuff. Yeah, I think... Oh, I wanted to say, guys, if you haven't noticed that I'm working out, you better notice because... I have so many working out videos on my channel, so you better check them out. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed today's reaction. I would love to do more of these TikTok reaction videos. They are super fun. Yeah, and we learn. We learn from these videos. You see other people making mistakes, and you're like, oh, so when I go to the Kinyozi or to the salon, I need to, uh, when I'm looking at the haircut i need to make sure that the the head matches my head before i get that haircut you learn from such things such videos so if you guys enjoyed it and if you learned something please make sure to thumbs up this video leave a comment and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to join the family thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye